$700. My jaw hit the floor when I saw that price tag. Hey, I'm Janelle, this is to DIY4. I am back with another DIY dupe. This time while I was scrolling through Pottery Barn, I stumbled upon this. Yeah, that's right. Ranging in price between $350 to almost, oh, just over $700. Granted the size, the scale is going to be a little bit different. I wasn't able to find something quite as large while I was out at the thrift store, but I think it has the exact same look and it's just crazy. I spent like maybe $4 making this. So I did a couple of different baskets just to kind of show you that you can totally take like three, $4 baskets thrifted from, uh, you know, any sort of secondhand store that you have nearby. I always see them uh, like constantly. I've picked up numerous ones in the past. They're always great for DIY projects and of course you can put them together to make this beautiful little wall. So I'm going to show you what I think is some of the best techniques, the proper tools to paint the baskets because it's not exactly the easiest to get those straight lines. So I'll show you what I did. All right, so here are just some of the baskets that I found at my thrift store, really easy to find. This piece is actually a wooden piece. I used it in a previous DIY. We're gonna repurpose it today because I think it had the perfect kind of markings on it to replicate that one from Pottery Barn. And then this large basket as well. So these are all around $4 a piece and we're going to use simple dollar store white craft paint here. Now the original one is actually a woven basket that has got thread into it that creates that kind of white triangle uh, border around the piece. I'm going to paint this because this is wood, but I thought that the wood had that kind of spiral effect that kind of really replicated the piece that we're looking at for Pottery Barn. I freehanded all of this, so you can feel free to do that. It's going to take you a lot longer to tape it off, and I think the freehand looks great if you feel comfortable enough to do that just with some white paint. It takes a couple of layers. And again, those holes, I just filled them with polyfill and they completely disappear when we paint over this. So just a reminder, when you're doing this with your baskets, you know you can have the inside of them face out, but you can also have the back of them face out, which is what I'm doing with this one and just painting a design, getting creative with this one, following some lines that I see on the basket already. Now the final one, I'm just gonna show you how you can use kitchen items to create some of your designs. I've got a bowl flipped upside down in here and that gave me the perfect template to make a perfect circle with a really crisp line. Another way to get really crisp lines while you're doing this is do the sponge brush. So tap it into place. I again freehanded all of this outside of the circle and I got really straight lines and it is just a lot easier to work with with that sponge brush when you're specifically working on the baskets. Um, so here is the final piece. So I know that this isn't exactly the same as the one that I saw on Pottery Barn as it is a woven actual basket with, you know, thread detailing on it. But I do think that it has the same kind of idea. And mine is maybe three times as small as the one that you could purchase, but it costs like way, 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 way less. And I think doing this whole grouping here together, you know, gives the idea of um, like a larger piece put together. If you are wondering, how do I hang the baskets? With a simple, clear thumbtack. You can barely see it there, but there it is. Let me know what you thought of this DIY, and I will be back next week with a new one. Cheers.